What's up, Peak Timers? Today we're gonna get a close-up look at some brand new Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Team Transporters. Big shout out to GranitToys.com for providing these to me if you guys want to get yourself some Team Transporters as well as a bunch of awesome latest Hot Wheels cars, make sure you check out GranitToys.com. Alright guys, here they are, the Team Transporters. I've got three of them here today and I haven't been a really big Team Transporter collector. These are actually the first three that I've ever received and you know what, I'm actually quite impressed. There is some premium cars inside of them and the actual transporters themselves are really cool. Let's go ahead and start opening them. All right, for our first one, we've got the 1966 Chevy Supernova as well as a retro rig. And the artwork on these cards is fantastic. Check that out, gorgeous. We'll take a look at the back and you can see these are all from the same series. All the cars listed on the back of them, but let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a close-up look at what it looks like. All right, there we go. So first off, we'll get a look at the transporter itself. You can see it says black hole on the side of it. I'm not really sure what that is, some sort of transporter thing. And the weight of these things is actually quite good. It's quite heavy and it does have the real rider wheels on there, all metal, all around, very, very nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the car inside, which is the Supernova. The Supernova is in this gorgeous looking matte black finish. The truck's in the matte black finish as well. This one also says black hole racing on the side of it big wheels, tires on the back of it, as, as well as the skinnies on the front of it, big engine showing through, beautiful, beautiful looking car. I love, love the detail on this, love the slicks on the back of it, it just looks fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at them both together here. We can see the rig right on the bottom as well as the car on the top fits nicely, got little grooves in the back of it. And I didn't really notice before, but on the side of the truck, we can see like little imitation doors, which you can actually store stuff in for tools and stuff like that, I guess, when you're taking your dragster to the track. But this one is very, very nice. And for our next one, we've got the Mercedes-Benz 190E, as well as the Fleet Flyer and artwork on there. It is a Falcon tire sponsored one. A lot of Falcon fans out there. There's a lot of different colorways that they've done on Falcon on different Hot Wheels and different cars. So this one's definitely collectors for all those Falcon collectors. And this one does say number 10 on there. Let's go ahead and pop it on open. Again, these are premium. These will run you anywhere around the 10 to $15 mark. I guess it would depend where you live. Some places have been charging even more. We'll put the packaging aside and let's go ahead and take a look at the actual transporter first. And there is our actual big transporter right there. Falcon tires, it's got the opening door in the back of it as well. And nice green on the top as well as the blue on the side of it. White wheels on this one. And that's a cool looking transporter and obviously it does fit the car in the back of it, which is really, really cool. So you can display it with the car inside or display it with the, maybe the car on top as well. Let's go ahead and look at the Mercedes. The Mercedes, here we go. Look at that 190E, gorgeous. I like the white wheels on this. That looks really cool. White wheels on cars looks really, really neat. Great detail on the front of the car, nice tampa work on the back of the car as well. We've got the lights and everything showing on the back there. And on the sides, we've got a little Momo logo and the Falcon tire, of course. And this one does have some weight to it. Again, all metal body. These are premium car culture series, real rider tires on there as well. Here we have a look at them both together. Obviously perfectly matching. You can have the car stored inside or just outside like I do right here because it is blocked when we store it right inside. We wanna see both of them, but really, really nice. I love how the colors perfectly match. The wheels even perfectly match in that white wheels, but a very, very nice premium casting, premium quality cars from the Falcon series of the transporters, the 190E and the transporter itself. And for our final one of the three, we've got the Nissan Fairlady Z as well as the Sakura Sprinter. Very cool, Nissan themed one, as you can see. Let's check out that artwork on there. Nice racetrack in the background. That looks really, really cool. 
And we looks like we've got the transporter racing. Well, that's that's kind of different. I don't think you'd see a transporter actually racing on the track, but we've got the Nissan Fairlady Z right there on there. Number 11, this one is. Let's go ahead and pop this one on open. And let's have a look at the Secura Sprinter first. Here is our Secura Sprinter Nissan logo on the side of it. It looks like it's made from the same era, so it's probably like an early, early 80s, maybe late 70s roughly type of era for this truck. But uh, really cool looking chrome wheels on there. We got the real riders on it. It is a metal base and then the plastic actual casing. And obviously we've got the opening gate in the back there so we can store the card inside of it. But very, very nice, very premium feel to it. Let's go have a look at the Nissan Fairlady Z and there is the Fairlady Z number 23 on the side of it. Some sort of like animal head or something. I'm not really sure what that is. We've got the GTS 2 on there, which might be a significance to racing. If you guys know that, post in the comments down below. But this casting, wow, we've seen a lot of recolors of this casting. This is definitely the most premium one that we've seen. Great detail on the back of it. Love the wide body. We can even see the little dots for the screws with screw on the wide body on there. Isn't that neat? That's a really, really cool touch to this one. But this one just looks gorgeous. It's fantastic. Like the quality in this one is just second to none. Oh, wow, wow. Very impressive, the Nissan Fairlady Z. Let's go ahead and have a look at them together. And obviously we have them perfectly matching. The only thing I can tell with this one is we got the chrome wheels on the truck and we got the blacked out wheels on the car. So maybe not exactly matching like the other two in this series, but still this Fairlady Z, wow, this Fairlady Z is probably my favorite of all of these cars. Very, very, very cool. Super high quality. Definitely a great one to have all metal on the top bottom. And then we've got the real riders on both of them as well. But Nissan Fairlady Z, great looking. And here we have a great close up look at all three of them side by side. Let me know in the comments down below guys, which one of these do you guys like the best? It is a hard pick. I love the Nissan Fairlady Z but I'm also a big Falcon Mercedes fan. It's a tough choice. They're all such great castings. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.